Hi, I'm Steve Pond from The Wrap. We're here at the Toronto International Film Festival with Amy Berg, the director of Janice Little Girl Blue, a new documentary about Janice Joplin. Uh, congratulations and, and welcome. Thank um, you. You're, you're known for more, I suppose, serious issue-oriented docs. This is, this is really your first film about an entertainer. Um, what, what brought you to Janice Joplin? Well, actually, Steve, I have been trying to get this film off the ground since 2007. When I really? finished my first film, I, I was approached by somebody who worked with the estate, and they had been discussing the options of maybe doing a documentary, and I was one of the first people that went in for that job. And um, so I've been attached since 2008. You, you have... You have a woman whose music was extraordinary, whose power as a performer was amazing, and but who also had a you know a tragic life and battled addiction. It must be how do you balance? You have this, I'm sure, galvanizing concert footage you can use and the recordings, but you also have to tell a pretty dark story. How do how do you balance that as a filmmaker? Well, I mean, I. Yes, she had, a, she had a tragic ending to her life, but she really lived her life to the fullest every day. We lived in the Chelsea Hotel while we were making cheap thrills and while we were touring. And she was conflicted about the same things that people get conflicted about when, they're, when they leave their family back home in the South and when their star is rising faster than they can keep up with it. And she's, she was trying to find balance in her life. and. Her career was just taking her everywhere else. So, you know, she, I just found her to be a really powerful, amazing woman who broke boundaries for women, and her music is incredible. Believe in magic. Don't be afraid. Afraid of you. Well, it's interesting that you say that you've been involved with it for so long because on the fiction side, people have been trying to make movies mm -hmm. about Janis Joplin right. for decade. I mean, The Rose started out as a Janis Joplin movie and changed, and there have been three or four others. Why has she been so elusive to get on screen? Well, it's not just that. I mean, I think that there are so many ingredients to making a music documentary that people don't always think about, but it, I mean, it's, it, it costs a lot of money to license vintage footage and just, you know, you have to scour people's storages and vaults and, you know, garages. It's, it's And you have to there's a lot of work that goes into licensing the footage. We have 35 songs in the film, and it's a personal story. It's a, Janice's brother and sister are very precious about their sister's legacy, mm -hmm. but they've been great to work with for me. It's just there are a lot of other things that had to come together for this to really happen. Right. Well, I'm delighted that it did, and, and thanks very much for coming here.